Hello, a few people have asked me to do a short video about how I create my guided meditations. So I'm just going to run you through how I create them using Audacity and any video converter which I use to convert files. I also use the voice recorder on my mobile phone which is with Android. So first of all, I always write my script. So write your script um, really clearly with really good punctuation because commas and full stops are really useful for helping you um, get the right um, flow of your text. Um, so do that first and then find somewhere really nice and quiet to record the words for your meditation. So I always um, choose a room with lots of furnishings so that the um, echo isn't as um, bad. So I normally go in my bedroom, um, I take my phone out of its cover and then clip it onto something. Then I'll go to my voice recorder app, record me saying a few lines, then play it back just to check that the sound and everything's working okay. And then I'll start reading through my script. So um, what you should do is if you go wrong, you don't need to start from the beginning, but just leave a bit of a gap and then start again from a section where you've left the last place where you left a good pause so that you can um, cut that bit out. So instead of having to stop and start the whole recording, just carry on and then we'll edit it out later on. The other thing is, if you're doing a meditation where, say, you might want people to take breaths or take some time to do something, then just leave a few seconds on the recording and then we'll add in periods of silence when we edit, in, edit it in Audacity later on. So um, then um, I save my voice file to my Google Drive and then um, that means I can get it on my computer so whichever way you transfer files from your phone to your computer you can do that and then um, my um, voice recorder um, doesn't save it in a file that Audacity likes so I've been using an app called and I'll just open it up um, any video converter and that was free so all I need to do is drag in my voice file and then uh, the dot wav file or wave file um, is selected up here but you can choose various things I've just um, stuck with wav or wave and then just click convert now So there we go, and then that will ask me if I want to buy it. No, not at this moment, thank you. And then it will have saved it into the any video converter folder, which is flashing down here. There we go. So that's the one I've just created, 017. So now I'm going to um, bring up Audacity, which is the free software that I've been using, and then in this um, folder, I'm going to move in my new WAV file, and in there I've also got my meditation file, sorry, not my meditation file, my background music file that um, I choose. So I have chosen that from indiemusicbox.com. Um, so you can decide what kind of genre of music you like. Um, I've chosen a really nice relaxation one. There's loads of different ones on here. Um, you can have a listen and then buy them. I think mine only cost about $10. And it's a really nice plain tune to go on the back. So yeah, indie music box is what I would recommend. But you need to make sure it's royalty free for doing this kind of thing. Right, so let's get rid of that. So I am in the um, 
Audacity um, program now. So I'm going to get my guided meditation bits that I need here. So I'm first of all going to drag in the voice, fo voice file that I've created. There we go, so that's brought that into the top. And then I'm going to drag in my background music to the bottom. And then as we're waiting for that, so the other track will come in down here, and then you've got volume controls on the side. Um, so you might need to turn your voice up and then turn the volume in the background track down. So adjust those um, as you need. Um, this um, line here will move along as it plays through the track. Um, and then you can pause, play, stop, go to the beginning, etc. Right, so now that's in, I'll close that down. So um, you can also mute one. Um, if you want to, if you just want to hear one thing for a while. So um, what I would suggest you do to start with is maybe just highlight a section by dragging it the cursor across and then go to view, zoom and then zoom to selection. Now you can see that there's some more breaks in this but I think this was quite a long meditation that I recorded so I'm just going to get rid of that zoom by clicking off it and zoom in again because it's not quite so easy to see view zoom to selection right so now you can see the breaks where I've stopped talking so it's quite easily easy to just um, select an area press play check that you're happy with it if there's something you're unhappy with and need to crop out just go to a bit of where it's quiet and the line's flat um, drag it over and then you can just um, let go and hit delete or edit and cut or copy and paste if you need to whatever you need to do so um, that's how you take bits out now I did say you might want to add in some silence if you want to give people time to take some few nice deep breaths and things like that so to do that um, go to the place that you want it click generate silence and then it'll ask you how much time you want that for so 30 seconds is a good amount of time for about three deep breaths in and out so um, it's up to you how long you want to put in obviously but that facility's there and it saves a lot of time having to wait all that time when you're doing the recording to leave that in but obviously that just puts the silence in the voice thing and not the music thing so the music will carry on playing and you'll have a, no a lovely meditation. Um, so I've done the sound, edit bits out. Ah, so the next thing, so once you've checked it through, listened to it all through, edited out anything, um, you just need to make sure that the music and the voice file end at the same time. So at the minute, there's quite a bit of difference there. So what I would suggest you do for this one is highlight a good chunk of the sound I don't, in an ideal word I'd zoom out collect, select a bit of the sound and then just delete it out and then leave a nice um, quietening of the music at the end on the good thing about the track that I've chosen is that if it jumps from one bit to another it's not obvious when you're listening to it so it doesn't matter too much if I edit bits out of that or if you needed to make this bit a bit longer, you could drag in the file from the beginning again and then cut off the beginning and the end. Or you could just copy a chunk of it over and move it down. So um, then once you're happy with it all, you're ready to export it. So you just go File, 
export and export it as an mp3 or whatever you want to export it as now um, if you're spending a long time editing something it might be worth saving the project along the way um, but to export it it's going to give you a few different options which are really nice because it shows them um, when people open the file so you can change the artist name the track title um, the genre um, website etc so i've been putting gentle release therapy in there um the track title of whatever i've called it and then moved indie box stuff down to the bottom so that um people know where that's from if they're interested okay so that's all i have to show you if you've got any comments or questions please leave them below um like if you've enjoyed the video and um i look forward to seeing you again soon we'll probably upload some meditations for you to listen to as well Thank you. Bye.